So what you guys thought was going to be the Boston Freedom Rally vlog was Boston Freedom Rally or bust, and we busted. Whatever. We're coming down to the end of a nine hour day, which is a shorter one for me. But we're starting our vlog here for the Boston Freedom Rally. I am just wrapping up my night at work. Oh my God, I look heinous. Let's just like not deal with this and we'll, we'll just check back in when we're packing. Okay, well, good morning, afternoon, whatever time of day it is. But it's not Thursday night anymore and I'm not looking haggard at work. It's now Friday midday. I have to pack, make a packing list. Wait, let's start that over. I have to make a packing list. I have to pack to run some errands. I have to go check my PO. I have to buy a new pair of shoes because I like a fucking grungy little rat walk through a river in my current shoes and they now smell real bad. Um, but this is the official Boston Freedom Rally prep vlog slash Boston Freedom Rally vlog. Um, I'm still in the process of editing my spleef vlog. Wow, stutter much? I'm still in the process of editing my spleef NYC event vlog from the end of August. But that's just because I'm working like 50 hours a week right now. Um, yeah, I'm in a new place. I moved. Again, there's a bunch of boxes over there and I have more boxes to bring in here. But I'm going to scratch my head and think about what order I want to do this in. Do I want to go shopping and then come back and pack and get everything? Yeah, let's do that. And then I'm just ready. Okay, bye guys. Let's, let's, uh, let's go shopping and find me some shoes that aren't awful. I can't promise I'm not gonna come home with those Fila shoes that everybody's wearing, but I just really can't see them on my feet. Uh, P.S. We are doing a phone vlog. Oh, old times, wow. But um, yeah, I got a new phone and now I'm just always gonna be looking over here if I'm like recording on my phone. All right, right there, over there, Jenny. Look, look yep, okay. So yeah, I got a new phone finally. Um, let's see, if you guys didn't know, about 32 days after I got my new phone last year, I dropped it on concrete steps and broke it. Um, I don't know if I'm covering the mic or not, so sorry about that, guys. Still really not used to phone recording. And it's just gonna be shaky all the time. This whole brand new phone life is quite nice. Let's not drop it, Jenny. Future note to self. Well, I was supposed to go and buy shoes, right? That's what we agreed upon last time we talked. I went to the thrift store. I found no shoes. I went other places in the thrift store for shoes, but, um, man, I'm pooped. Not gonna lie. Now I have to get my butt in gear, smoke mom real quick, and go get a massage and then go to work later. Wow, that sun's like really bright. Not to sound stupid, guys. Jesus. All right, here's a bong, and then I'm gonna go get a massage. And hopefully I'll be able to turn my neck more than that. <coughs> so that's about all we got right now. Well, it is Saturday morning and the morning of the Freedom Rally. I woke up hella late, par usual. I now have to get in my car and drive two and a half hours in to Boston with my stick shift. Probably should have borrowed my mom's car so I didn't have to shift the whole way there and then be stuck in traffic, but maybe I can like park outside the city and take the tea in. I didn't plan, I didn't do any planning for this, guys. The most planning I did was like, when it was 3 a.m. I was like, I should go to bed so that I can get like at least five to six hours of sleep. But now basically I need a bagel and I gotta put some stuff in a bag and get in my car and go. So let's take care of that. All right, just, just stay. Well, we are currently driving on our way to the Boston Freedom Rally. Um, God damn it, this thing keeps happening where like I eat chocolate, like medicated chocolate, and like the day that I need it to work. So this would have been yesterday again. And like this morning, I, I 
didn't feel a thing yesterday. I also was like, oh, this isn't as much as I ate last time. Like, I'll probably be fine. And once again, like, I literally got done eating my bagel and I was like, why am I so fucking lit right now? And now I'm on the highway, yerba mate and a half deep, and I'm just like, oh, I want to go home and go to bed. Also, just was like thinking about how to like spruce up old series like crafts and cannabis or things like that um, or like a lot of people do like reaction videos oh also guys I literally went to go take my sweatshirt off and realized I'm not wearing a fucking shirt I'm just wearing like a Calvin Klein sports bra so I'm rocking like half a sweatshirt on half a sweatshirt off going for that like thug gym look and that's not gym like gym that's gym like gym um anyways so I was thinking about like you know when you used to buy a DVD and it would like be the extended uh you know uncut and there would be the option for bloopers or commentary or I just realized my air was on I should totally do that with Jenny Wakenbake, like a commentary from Jenny Wakenbake and go back and watch my old videos and then like I have like a little screen in the bottom corner and do like commentary on myself. Oh, bug. My drive is two hours and 15 to 30 minutes. I know that an hour or 40, mm, half hour to 45 minutes of that is going to be city traffic and I'm not looking forward to it. Because I drive a stick shift, so I was thinking about getting a train at the Quincy Adams Station, I think is the one that Fred told me to go to, but I might just like end up driving into the city at this point. I also was supposed to buy new shoes, and I didn't do that yet. All right, well, I got off the highway to stop and get some directions and try and find a different route to the Freedom Rally because I am struggling with GPS and traffic. Should have gone to the city yesterday. Fucking shirt? What? So I have to stop and- I know in the grand scheme of things, it's like really not that big of a deal. I'm alive. I'm safe. I made it home. My car's in one piece. But I really am freaking bummed that I didn't make it to the rally today and that the events turned in the way that they did. Um, after being stuck on the highway for a good two and a half hours because of traffic due to a car accident, I turned my ass around and tried to find an alternate route, but that didn't work. My car overheated um, because my clutch was slipping because of the stop and go traffic. So I walked around the mall while my car cooled off and got my ass back home. I got home by the time the Freedom Rally was over, and I left at noon today. I was supposed to be there at 2.30 at the absolute latest. So what you guys thought was going to be the Boston Freedom Rally vlog. Was Boston Freedom Rally your bust? And we busted.